Uh, it's a picture of our, our bench and then the crowd behind, behind them after the block. <laughs> I just think everybody's kind of in shock that, you know, we, we got there. That was probably our best defense we played all year in 10 seconds. Uh, at the end of the Duke game, when AT blocked the shot to save the game, everybody was celebrating in their own way, and I happened to look like, uh, I, look, <laughs> I don't know what I look like, but it was, it was funny. Everybody had a good laugh out of it. Oh my God! That's what he looks like. He looks like he's yelling, "Oh my God!" Yeah, he's he's funny. He's hilarious. His actions. Somebody who shows so much emotion. That's pretty good. He's. I think he got caught at the wrong time. I'm gonna stick up for him. Yeah. He's getting ready to jump. That's a great picture, though. Uh, knowing how competitive Zach is, you know, um, he just loves winning. And uh, so, you know, just uh, incredible. And um, obviously, you, you talk about Coach Langley and I doing our touchdown pose and um, pretty humorous. I mean, I guess when you spend a lot of time together and um, but both of us kind of had the same reaction uh, just of celebration, uh, you know, w with with the finish and uh, then seeing our players, uh, just those raw emotions, you know, obviously being on the winning side, uh, it feels so much <laughs> better. Uh, but, you know, just what sports can do, I mean, how it can um, take everything in your life and, um, you know, makes you feel so much better when, when you can have a sporting event like this uh, come down to the wire and, and to be able to pull it out with a win. And a spectacular Sunday in the world of sports. Um, just top ten plays, you know, I always watch them every morning. So to see, like, Blake Griffin and Kobe Bryant to be on there. So Actually, after the game, um, my mom's school was there, so I was up in the, the aux gym just hanging out and talking to them. So I really didn't know what was going on on Sports Center or anything. But um, once I, I came downstairs and checked my phone, everybody was like tweeting and texting me that I, I got number one, and I was kind of in shock, you know. Number one women's college basketball, Duke at Maryland, Maryland up two, Duke or Haley Peters. Up the game winning three as time expires, but Alyssa Thomas, huge block, Maryland wins. You don't really see women's basketball on top 10 plays really at all. To see yourself on there, it's, it's a huge honor. And then to see that I got number one to beat out NBA players and just professional athletes, it was, it was a pretty cool thing. Jay Terry, a play 2004-2008, 06 national champion, and I'm a residential counselor. Today, I came out and I practiced with the team. Had to beat them up a little bit, school them in the post. You know how I used to do. You know, strong in the post. It was a strong post move, so I just had to show the youngin that I'm still got it. I'm still strong, you know. Can't outpower me. Just, just competitive out there with them, and I love it. Especially making a stronger Tiana Hawkins. Put this on camera. I made her strong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Jade, how do you feel? A lot tired. But you know, my conditioning level on the scale of one to ten is probably a 2.5. <laughs> it definitely feels good coming back. The family atmosphere and the, um, the welcoming from the players that I get. Um, I just love them. I'm a proud alumni. Senior night for me has changed throughout the years. Um, it is a very special night, uh, you know, because it is your, um, you know, you, you get a chance to thank your seniors and, and to be able to recognize um, everything they've done for your program. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your class of 2012. Um, being an emotional coach, um, it's always had significance uh, to, to how I, you know um, I am. I've learned through the years that I have to be less uh, emotional and dramatic because you have to go out and play a game. So you've got to kind of save those emotions for your banquet <laughs> and the end of the year because when you get too emotional in these games, it, it's hard for, for women and females to then go out and, and perform and produce. Definitely good girls, definitely good girls, and they're going to miss it, just the atmosphere, the family feel, because I know after I graduated, basketball was all I knew, and it, and it like got me to where I was at, and I struggled, I honestly struggled for a couple of years because I just missed basketball, you know, it's, it's something, um, it was my life.
how much fun we're going to have tonight. <laughs> right? How much fun we're going to have. Okay, the only way you have a lot of fun tonight is if you do what? Win. Win. You know, one, to get our players to understand how hard we're going to go play for our seniors because senior night doesn't mean anything if you don't go back it up with a win. You leave everything out on the floor with your energy for your three seniors tonight. Go out and play hard. Go, let's go. Barrett, left side. Kaiser tries the three, hits the three. Hey, on senior night, anything goes. We wanted to really come out and punch them in the mouth first. You know, against Duke, Duke got us down early, and then we had to claw back. We've been really focusing on not having to do that. We want to jump on the team first and make them have to chase us, and I think we did that tonight. Rodgers hits the three from the left wing. Well, for me, you know, it's been like an up and down year kind of as far as my shot's been. So when I hit that first one, it was like a sigh of relief. When I got that second one, you know, there was like an explosion of emotion out of me. It was just like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. And I think that was, you know, that little bit of a push that we needed to get that run going. The Terrapins lead it 11 to 1. This uh, game, uh, we were in total control of our destiny. Uh, if we won this game, uh, we were going to secure ourselves uh, one of the top four seeds. So uh, we were able to do that tonight. Thomas the rebound. I'll let the Hawkins win. Wide open for the Snowbird lay-in. To Mosley. Mosley into the front court. Left side, Thomas. Ball fake to the bucket. Changes hands and scores with the right hand. It's 32-13, Terrapins. Thomas down to the baseline. Devon strong to the bucket. She scores and gets fouled. What a first half. Up top, Mincy. Three-point attempt. It's good. Now, I know it's senior night, but the sophomore is even knocking them down like nothing. Hey! Hey! 71 to 40. Roger three pointer. It's good. Nothing but net. Renee, Sequoia in essence. Go get your seniors. You know, I think all seniors, you know, after you've put in four or five years in a program, um, you know, and you're kind of anxious and ready for what's next, what's ahead. You know, I've been through all these practices and um, games and have lived it, and um, what, what's next for me, and kind of excited to. Um, go earn your own paycheck and and pay you know uh, you know be able to to really you know be an adult. Um, but I also think with our three seniors, there's also that scary uh, the unknown and and what is that going to look like? And I know in the conversations I've had with all three of them to prepare them and to let them know how much I'm going to help them through this process and support them and they're going to be great. Um, there, there is that scary feeling of um, I don't know what's next and it's coming whether I like it or not. That, um, that's strong because I know starting a new chapter, so sometimes I wish I can go back and read like the old chapters in my life. I always have flashbacks of playing and just missing like the sisterhood that we, uh, that we used to have. A lot of times some people are like, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't really want to sign autographs right now. But, you know, when you feel like time ticking down and, you know, it's winding down, you really appreciate and you really want to take advantage of the opportunities to give back and do stuff like that. Hey, that's how you send your seniors out, right? <laughs> your life is supposed to uh, get better every step of the way, um, every um, move that you make. And uh, college, even though they've had some really great years here, um, the, the years ahead for them are, are going to be even better than, than what they've had here. And, uh, I'm very confident about that.